that is my dream, that people understand that also using hydrogen, we can clean up our environment, we can you know, rebalance our relationship with uh, Mother Earth, who's complaining because we are hurting her too much. I think the important thing is that people know we need to make this transition. But too many people believe that we're asking them to go back to live in caves and eat grass. That is not necessary. We can live decent lives, even better lives, with cleaner air, cleaner water, if we make this transition. That is my dream. Here we can show to the world that hydrogen can be the energy carrier of the future that helps us with our mobility, that helps us with heating, that helps us to solve some of the most uh, complicated issues uh, where we still have to use uh, fossil fuels today. For making uh, this happen, we need massive investment. And this investment cannot just come from public authorities, from the taxpayers. This investment also has to come from the private sector. And because this technology is still in development, it's not going to be profitable in the immediate. So you also need a lot of public support for this. But because it is going to be profitable, profitable in the midterm, you also have an opportunity for private investors to invest in this because the revenues for them will be very interesting in the mid and long term. So that's why I believe this is one of those sectors where public-private partnership is essential to make a success. There is no doubt in my mind that hydrogen as an energy carrier has a great future. Well, keep it up. Uh, the most important thing is you have the future in the palm of your hands. Work with us to make sure that Europe stays in the lead on hydrogen and then we can show that hydrogen can be the energy source of the future.